Hi, my name is Christina Bell, and I do research with Professor Phil Maskoff in the Quest Lab here at ISTV4, and I'm going to be talking about my research about an on-chip millimeter wave max ender interferometer for quantum sensing and computing. So first, I'm going to talk about what exactly a Mach Zender interferometer is. So what this instrument does is it takes two light beams and uses their interference patterns with different mirrors um, to make precise measurements about their optical phase shifts. Um, specifically, I do research about wavelengths Wavelength frequencies in the 75 to 110 gigahertz range, which is W band. Um, and my research is basically focused on making circuit board elements that, if you look at the schematic, would go past the detectors. So after the signal is detected, it would go through a circuit board and we can analyze the signal from there. So as for the development of superconducting circuit elements, um, we have three in progress right now. The first one is a wideband superconducting quadrature hybrid, then a superconducting diplexer, and finally a current control bureau superconducting transmission line phase shifters. And I'm going to go into depth into all of these. So, First, we have our wideband superconducting quadrature hybrid. So what this device is, um, as you can see in this um, schematic to the right here, it's basically a four port device that splits an input signal equally between two output ports. So if we have signal coming in from A, we would have signal going out of C and D of equal amplitude, um, but with 90 degree phase shifts. And B is just an independent port. Um, so yes, this device does call for the, the detection of two interference fields that are 90 degrees out of phase. So next we have a superconducting diplexer. Um, this device is basically a device that allows for two independent signals in the frequency domain to coexist in one coaxial cable. So this is good um, because it allows us to feed power into DC devices that can only take, you know, one line of signal, um, but it allows for two of these independent signals to coexist together without interrupting each other. So next we have our current controllable superconducting transmission line phase shifters. So these devices basically take our W band signal um, and route them through transmission lines of different length in order to change the phase shift of the wave. Um, and these transmission lines are fabricated with niobium nitride, which if you're familiar, that is a very superconducting material. Um, and these will be coupled to W-band waveguides using radial probes. So as for applications of what we're doing here, um, these can be, this research basically can be used as a basis for exploring millimeter wave circuit electrodynamics, um, including photon entanglement, as well as other quantum sensing and computing applications. More specifically, um, the Fourier transform spectrometer. So what this device basically does is it modulates radiation in the time domain to undergo a Fourier transform, obtaining a spectrum. 
So in simpler terms, we can basically take the signal in a time domain. So basically raw data from the signal. And this device basically does a Fourier transform on that so that we can more easily read the signal, make um, distinctions about the resonant frequency and stuff like that. So as you can see in this graph to the right, um, we have raw time versus intensity data transformed into frequency versus power domain. Um, yes, and obviously this has quite profound applications in the field of quantum sensing and computing, as well as astronomical and cosmological um, survey applications. And yes, here are my references for everything I talked about today. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you enjoyed.